let us now look at the dimensioning of this particular figure again over here you have the dimensions option let us close this ellipsis element selection can be brought over here and I'm draw I'm putting this acute draw docking it at the bottom in the dimensions option first one we have already seen dimension element click on this and you have the dimension placed over here now again the dimension is coming too big too huge you can do the same thing which we had done earlier that is select it delete it for now next go to element select the dimensions option go to text height and width lock it and let it be some two units both will be two close it now select this option and you can see this is how the dimension appears again in order to reduce these sizes I can again delete this element dimensions units rated be to 0.12 and text let us bring it further down to one unit lock it both of them are one closes select this and you can check this dimension in this way <clears throat> the next dimension over here is four select it and you have the dimension placed over here in this way okay. now for <coughs> excuse me for the circle you can select this option over here dimension radial select this click on the circle over here and you get this diameter option over here if you would want to specify the radius you can select the radius over here okay select the radius option click on this and now you have the 0.5 mm radius specified in this way that is the radius option over here now whenever you're trying to specify the dimensions of the circles you have a number of options over here center mark select the center mark option click on the circle and you get a center mark placed over there if you do not want it I'll just go with undo and it has been removed the next option over here is radius as we have already seen specify the radius in this way select the delete option delete it then you have the option of specifying radius extended click on this and click on the circle now over here we are unable to see the difference I'll show it over here with a bigger circle say let us draw a circle over here uncheck this and I'm drawing the center point over here and this is the big circle select this option first we see the radius click on this and this is how the radius has been specified or else you can go with the radius extended option click on this circle and now you get this circle over here that is the dimension is being displayed from the center point not from the outside in this way that is your radius extended option the same ways we have the diameter select it select the circle and you have the diameter placed or go with the diameter extended option click on this and you'll be having it through the center you can place it inside or you can even place it outside in this way depending upon the movement of your cursor those are the options which we have for the dimensioning the circle let us select all of this and delete it and now let us draw one random figure wherein we'll be able to see the rest of the options in the dimensions let us draw a line in this way now if I want it till that level I'll hit enter which gets logged in this direction click on this and you have it till that level and click right click to come out of it now the first option we have already seen dimension element which dimensions each element you can also go with this option over here dimension size with arrows that is first let me delete this okay now I'll go with update in order to see these lines okay then the next option over here is dimension size with arrows click on this and 
click on the first point from where you want the dimension to start and then you need to click the extension lines that is the extension lines which you have for the dimensions the extremity or the last level of that extension line define the length of the extension line you can read it over here I need to click somewhere over here which becomes the length of the extension line and next you need to select the end point of the dimension I'll select the end point over here after which you do not come out of the command you can proceed and create a chain of dimensions over here in this way and proceed along in this direction you can keep on proceeding over here 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 etc right click to accept in this way you can use your continuous dimensions option <coughs> I'll go with undo select it first point over here one point over here which determines the length of the extension line then comes the second point or the end point of your dimensions in this way there is one more option over here called dimension size stroke when you select this over here I am selecting this point and this extension line length and then over here and you can see the difference over here is in the strokes instead of the arrows you have these strokes present over here then next let us look at this particular dimension dimension ordinates option select the dimension ordinates option over here and this option is used whenever you want to specify the coordinates x and y coordinates of a particular point first I'll place it over here and I'll click over here you can see the zero value being displayed over here that is the first point or the base point has been placed over here and next with respect to this will will be specifying the rest of the dimensions that is the coordinate values whenever you are using your lines over here in microstation the method is relative that is suppose you are drawing a line in this way now whenever you are going to specify the next point you are specifying the next point with respect to the previously entered point the relative point not with respect to the origin it, is ha it has got nothing to do with the, the origin the dimensions which you are specifying over here in your acute draw is with respect to your previous point in the same way you will be dimensioning the coordinates as well the ordinates of a particular point I'll stop the session over here and we'll continue the rest of all the dimensions in the next session